Good evening. The wife of a man who contracted hepatitis C after being given contaminated blood by the NHS says she wants truth and justice from the inquiry into the scandal. Christine Norville was among the witnesses who told how it impacted on families. Her husband Bruce said it was the hardest day of his life listening to his family's testimony. But he added that allowing these voices to be heard shows that this inquiry has the courage to go where others have not before. Louise Scott reports. Bruce Norville was three years old when he received blood products from the NHS to treat his haemophilia. He said he never remembers feeling well. Today, for the first time, his wife Christine spoke of the impact his illness and campaigning has had on the family and the moment she reached breaking point. I drove the car up to the edge of the river and I sat there thinking, do you know, this would end everything, all the pain, if I just drove the car into the river. And at that point, I had two young children and I think that just always brings you back. Um, and I rang Bruce and he just said, come home now. Mrs Norville spoke about her husband's night sweats, daily vomiting and changing mood. She said their daughter's earliest memory was of her dad stopping the car to be sick and both children were scared to go home in case they found their dad dead. We've often felt within the family that we are second place to that fight. But we understand why that has happened. I don't think you would put up with it if you didn't know the, the pain. And for Bruce, it was a difficult day. To hear that now today, my wife talking about what their view was of that impact, to, see my, to hear my children talk about the impact I had on them, it's probably been the hardest day in my life. But he believes it's important that the impact of the blood contamination on families is heard. Individuals were infected, families were destroyed. And to actually finally get to a point where we have an inquiry that has the courage and the conviction to listen to those stories from those families, those people that have been on the sidelines while they've watched people like me continue to fight, my wife watching me continue to fight, watching her friends die. Um, to hear those voices I think is crucial and it shows that this inquiry has the courage to go where others haven't before. Two other witnesses spoke to the inquiry today. One who wished to remain anonymous was the widower of a woman who contracted HIV through a donated kidney, which had been infected by contaminated blood. He said she went in for a life-saving operation and came out with a death sentence. Tomorrow, the inquiry will hear from more witnesses who have been affected by what the chairman of this inquiry has described as the greatest treatment disaster in the history of the NHS. Louise Scott, STV News, Edinburgh.